So what we do for our, um, our salvage flaps for osteoradian necrosis, you have to kind of first look at what the causes that we know are uh, with regard to osteoradian necrosis. Radiation, uh, first and foremost, takes away blood supply. Uh, you get a lot of scarring, you get decreased blood supply, so the tissue has significantly decreased ability to recover from the effects. And then you collect free radicals because you don't have blood supply to wash these free radicals which cause tissue damage. You get smoldering infections and the antibiotics don't work. A lot of it is because the blood supply isn't there and the antibiotics can't be delivered to the damaged bone. These effects can be reversed by just essentially doing a bypass, uh, uh, a new revascularization, bringing in a whole new blood supply to this area. So what we do with these salvage flaps is we take a very, very strong blood supply. Uh, we do minimal access incisions, either a very small incision by the jaw or a facelift incision in front of the ear. No other incisions in the head and neck region, which is why people go home so quickly because there's not a lot of downside to it. And we take some tissue from the thigh with an incredibly good blood supply that's essentially free tissue. Uh, the, the cost of doing the surgery on folks is less than a skin graft. They walk the same day. Uh, so we take this tissue uh, with this blood supply, we connect it to the blood vessels in other parts of the face, and we just essentially transfer it to the jaw. It's like doing a heart bypass on the mandible. We're, we're giving it a whole new life.